Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a tutorial, get ready with me, kind of. Um, I'm also going to be trying out the new Kush Mascara. I've been so ready to fucking try it and I want to try it for you guys for the first time on camera to see my first impressions and how I feel about it. So if you're into that, just stick around. Um, yeah, we're gonna jump into this video. Um, so I'm gonna be going in with the moisturizer from Drunk Elephant. This is the polypeptide cream. Um, it's supposed to strengthen and moisturize your face. It's really bougie, everyone look. You like push it down and then the product is right there. And I guess that's how much you're supposed to use. So yeah, we're just gonna go in. I think I should use this headband so I don't get like makeup in my hair, you know? I'm gonna be priming my face with my Becca First Light Priming Filter. My favorite primer, but also the only primer I own right now, so I'm using this guy a lot. You guys, I started watching The Handmaid's Tale and I already finished it. Um, it's really good. I would recommend it. It's like... You kind of have to get into it, like, the first couple episodes, I didn't know if I was going to keep on watching it, but, like, it does get really good. And also, I read the book, which kind of helped me, like, understand, um, like, the whole dystopian vibe, if you will. For my foundation today, I'm going to be mixing my Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Porcelain and my Born This Way Foundation in the shade Nude. I don't usually add oil, but I'm just going to add some... Drunk Elephant Luxury Facial Oil, just because, like, we love a moisture queen. If you haven't heard of the show The Handmaid's Tale, it's basically, like, kind of like a show based on if the United States got taken over or, like, something of that sort, and it got taken over because women are becoming really infertile. And also because the birth weight, the birth rate um, decreased over 50%. So basically, women just become these like, like their only purpose is is to like, like have babies for people in power. I don't know if that sounds like really complicated. It gets easier to like understand as you keep watching. Yeah, I'm into it. I don't want to go on too much about it, but like, there's this one like iconic ass scene because like all the handmaids or whatever all wear the same thing like they wear red and like everybody low-key is just fucking rude to them but there's this one iconic scene the main character is like walking with her handmaid squad and then the quote is like it's a shame they should have never given us uniforms if they didn't want us to be an army or something and i was just like oh my god like go women like yes we love a woman in power this week was literally hell <laughs> From last Friday until Wednesday, which was yesterday, I just had like one thing to do after another. Like it was so ridiculous. Like I would go to class, come back from class, study for a test I have in my next class. Like it was just so fucking ridiculous. I hated it. I'm done with that shit for like a couple days so I can just relax and get turned with my friends to make up for it. I wonder if I should add some more coverage. Like, she's pretty full coverage, but we could just, like, take it to the next level, you know? Adding a little bit more foundation, and then we're gonna just till off this. I've been trying to, like, conserve my concealer lately just because I'm running low, and I need to make a run to Ulta real quick. So, I'm gonna be mixing quite a few concealers right now. This is the Makeup Revolution one. I didn't love this one as much as I thought I would just because Jeffrey loved it, but I still like it. It's pretty good concealer. Would repurchase next time using my Better Skin Concealer from Maybelline. And then my eyebrows are a fucking wreck. I hate them. I'm gonna get them threaded in like a week because I haven't had time. So we're just gonna cover these babies up with more concealer so you can't tell how bushy they are. It's just not my fave. I'm gonna blend this out and then I'm gonna go in with my shape tape for like underneath my eyes directly. Dude, I cannot wear earrings when I'm doing my makeup. There's like makeup on my earrings. Like this cannot be a thing right now. Today I really wanna do like a nice fun red lip, like a little Fenty, you know. I 
fucking love Fenty. I only have one product from Fenty, but I just love going into the store and like swatching Rihanna's shit. Like, Rihanna just gets me. I've been like struggling with powder lately. Like I I love both of these, the Laura Mercier and the Maybelline Fit Me. I it's like necessary to me that I set my face because bronzer just applies so much nicer on top of everything, you know, if everything is set down with a powder. I don't know. I <laughs> I just don't like being a dry bitch and like that's what powder does to me because my face is so dry. Anyways, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me. Um powder. I'm just going to go straight in with my blender and just get these inner eye. Oh my god, I cannot talk right now. I'm just going to get this under eye area real quick. And then I'm just going to set the rest of my face. My nails were looking so good except for this one. Shake my head. While I'm waiting for my under eyes to set, I'm just going to do my brows with my Anastasia dip brow thing. Um, I'll be right back because I don't think anyone wants to watch this. I am literally so much more confident when I'm wearing my eyebrows. It's insane. I'm just going to wipe off this translucent powder. Now we have our base done. To contour my face, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I always just use this middle shade. And I'm going in with my Luxie Small Contouring Brush. If you do contour and bronzer separately, contour you really just want to like get in there and chisel out your shit and then bronzer is more like bringing warmth to your face. So like you could go in any order you want honestly but I just feel like this makes it a little more simpler. Like you go in first with your contour, you snatch those cheekbones and then you can go in with your bronzer. I'm using my Benefit Hula bronzer and this little... Sephora bronzing brush Okay, I found like the perfect angle to put my mirror, so I'm gonna just try to stay right here To contour my nose, I'm not gonna go in too crazy. I'm just gonna kind of like um, Go light-handed Just so it has some color for blush. I'm going in with my little Mac blush brush and I'm going to take a little Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon and I'm just going to focus this um, on like, like this is the apples of my cheeks and I'm just going to focus it on the outer area. I'm also taking that blush like kind of everywhere to give myself some life to my skin. And then lastly for blush, I'm going in with my Milani Baked Blush to give me some more glow in the shade Dulce Pink. I've used this before on my channel. Really cute, fun, and fresh. Just putting this on the apples of my cheeks. Oh my god, it looks so cute. I don't know if you can <laughs> tell how much blush I'm wearing right now. It looks like a lot in person. Um, but I still like it. I think it's cute. I'm just going to keep rolling with it. Um, we're just going to be taking the flat end of this sponge and baking um, right here. I'm going to prime my eyes for this look with a little shape tape and I'm also going to um, carve out my eyebrows with some concealer. I'm going to show you guys my go-to look lately. Not exactly lately. I did this look a lot in high school, like if it's just a day where I want to look cute. Um, like basically all you need is this palette if you already have it that's great um, I kind of use a lot of shades to mix but it's really not necessary like you can totally get the full look with this so yeah I'm just gonna be showing you this I'm going into the shade candied peach and just all these pink colors right here like these three of them with my um, Sephora crease brush um, this look is really simple and I personally love it because it goes with any lip color like you can match it with any shit you want like it'll still look cute we're just gonna really build up these colors together I look so pink and cute right now I look like a little rose okay 
Next I'm going in with this more pre precise um, crease brush and I'm just going to dip into Candy Peach and Puree. I'm going to put this more precisely in my crease, a little bit more on the outside too. I'm going in with my Luxie Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just going to go into both of these shades, Puree and Summer Yum. Dust off the excess, you know, and just kind of build up these colors on my outer corner. Um, this palette is so good. There's no fallout. Like, this bitch is so trustworthy. I would take her anywhere. Next, I'm going to take Summer Yum Puree and a tiny bit of Charmed, I'm sure. And I'm going to put them, I'm taking this on a Morphe brush. And just putting this on my outer corner, kind of stamping it on. Nothing too crazy. Next, I'm just going straight up with my finger into the shade Luscious. This shade is so gorgeous. Like, it's probably my favorite shade in the whole palette. Um, I don't know if you, if you can see how cute it is right now, but I'm just going to put this straight up on my lid. Do you see what I mean? This is such a cute shade. Like, this eye look would go with any lip you want. Like, deadass. Okay. Now that we built that color up, here's the swatch, by the way. Super cute. Super fun and fresh. This step isn't necessary, but I'm going in with a smaller brush for my outer corner. I'm going to be taking this the shade from my Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette in secret. Just to kind of give me that, like... I wouldn't call it a wing, but like I've been trying to do like a low-key wing lately, like just not a, not a wing. You'll see what I'm doing. It's fine. Just like a little something on your outer corner really completes the look. I was talking to this girl who's also into makeup, and she said that um, if you were to purchase one of these palettes from the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection, definitely go with this one, which I was so glad she said that because that's literally the one I bought. But, um, yeah, I definitely like this palette. I think it's cute. I mean, I would love to try out her other palette, but I just don't see myself using the green one or, like, you know? Like, I don't know if that's my, if that's my thing. If you are using this palette, you can go ahead and use this for your inner corner. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be going in with my Dream Street palette in the shade. I think this is Moony. This just goes with everything. Another classic. You guys should let me know what palettes you have in your collection and if you have your eye on any of them or if you want me to try out a palette or, <laughs> sorry I have a lot of ideas right now, um, you could also let me know what you want me to try from Fenty. Now I'm going to wipe off this bake, then I'm just going to apply a tiny bit more bronzer right where that was. Um, to finish up my under eyes, I'm going in with all three of these shades, just kind of mixing them with my beauty blender. Putting these right under my eyes just to give a little more brightening effect, you know. Even if you can't tell, it still prolongs my makeup and makes that concealer just not move. For my under eyes, I'm going in with this e.l.f. Um, brush that's just kind of flat. Um, I really would recommend e.l.f. brushes, like... Definitely, if you're going to buy, if you need some more brushes, definitely go for e.l.f. or Morphe. Um, I'm going into the pink shades again. To deepen out my lower lash line, I'm going in with these shades in my small brush again. Just matching the top eyeshadow to the bottom eyeshadow. I think I can take this shit off now. Okay, and I'm going to make this a little more smoky with the shade Georgia. Just kind of blending it all down a little bit more. I have burped so much in this video. It's kind of crazy how you can just film a video and cut out whatever you want. <laughs> no sus. Just setting my eyebrows real quick with my NYX Control Freak. By the way, this is my new backdrop. Um... I'm sure you noticed, but it's cute, right? Like, this is what we needed. We needed, like, a cute little curtain to, like, just make this room everything. Essence Pure Nude Highlight. Fan brush. Apply.
I'm gonna spray my face with my Mario Badescu spray. I'm using my Benefit What's Up highlight. I low-key feel like these videos are getting repetitive, like, don't worry, I'm gonna buy more shit and switch it up, okay? This is just for the sake of a cute ass look. Like, sometimes your routine is just so good, like, there's no going back, like, you just have to commit. Um, looking dewy as hell. Love that. Anastasia M. Reezy highlight. And then this is a highlighting precise brush, I would say. Oh my god. It's so fucking intense. <sighs> You're joking. I watched The Haunting of Hill House like a long ass time ago. Um... I wouldn't keep watching it, it was kind of boring. Anyways, um, I kind of like started thinking about how like when people die, like somebody has to do their makeup and I'm just like, who's gonna do my makeup when I die? Like, they better be fucking watching my tutorials, <laughs> doing my exact move. If I don't have this blinding highlight like laying in my casket, like my life will have no purpose. hate myself okay you guys today i'm gonna be trying out the new milk kush mascara um i will read you some of the claims you know basically i'm pretty sure the cbd is like supposed to be really healthy for your lashes which i love i've been needing a mascara that's actually good for my lashes like not drying them out to like fucking flakes you know um i'm really excited for this high volume longer lashes thicker lashes and lifted lashes um we're just gonna go in and and see how I feel about it. So, I'm just gonna curl these lashes. This is her. Really cute packaging. Simple, but still cute. Um, we love Kush. Huge supporter. Um, this is my first impression, so we're just gonna see what happens. I definitely see some length there, like there's definitely a difference. I'll just zoom you guys in. Hopefully you can see um, how much more lifted my lashes are on my right side. Yeah, I'm bad with I'm bad with telling my left from my right, but this is how it looks. Tell me what you guys think. That's just like with one coat by the way, so she's not even at her full potential yet. We're just gonna go ahead and do the other eye really cute i like it i'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lashes it's a good mascara i'm going in with my fenty uncensored lip paint and then i'm gonna line my lips with with this random red lip liner oh my god look at that pigment though I don't know if you already knew this, but I'm so impressed with this lipstick. Um, I think the color would look good on anyone. It doesn't move. Like, once it dries down, you can fucking, like... Okay, to be honest, I don't know if you can eat. Like, obviously, you're gonna have to reapply if you're eating. But you can hit a bong, and this shit won't move. That's a guarantee. These are the last two steps, I swear. I'm just gonna go in with some white eyeliner for my waterline. This is another step that's, like, not totally necessary at all. But, um, for Halloween, I put on some fake freckles, faux freckles, um, and I thought they were cute. I have some real freckles, but they totally get covered up by my foundation. Um, it would be cool to find a foundation that still lets them peek through, but for now, I'm just going to do lightly, lightly do some freckles. Try not to get carried away. This is my Wet n Wild Brown Eyeliner. I'm going to try to do them really lightly, just focusing on this area, and then also um, covering up the ones that I know I already have, just to bring them back to life. Also, you don't if you are doing this step, you don't want to space them out too much, just like if they're all evenly like the same length apart, it might look a little funky. Just kind of randomly do them, see where this lands. Just go with it. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my Kat Von D lighter shades. 
just to go over it with my sponge just to blend everything out. And then I'm just taking a little more bronzer on my nose. Okay, this is the final look everyone. Okay guys, that completes this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you like this look, if you want more, if you want me to try out anything. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, definitely come back for my next video. Come hang with me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.